Hey everyone, it's your host, Ashley. You can follow us on all social media platforms at The Nanny News. Before we get started, make sure you guys like this video, comment, and subscribe if you have yet to do so. And make sure you go tell a friend and tell a friend about Nanny News. So guys, we are in the middle of the week because we have the biggest announcement ever and I just could not wait until Friday to share it. I have a very juicy episode for you guys today. It's a very big announcement with a special guest. Hmm. I'll give you a clue of who it might be. She has been in the game for over 17 years has her own three children in the Philadelphia area. She is the director of Nanny Palooza. If you haven't guessed it yet, it's Sue Downey, you guys. We sat down with Sue, the director of Nanny Palooza, and we got to have a special interview with her, you guys. We found out why she started Nanny Palooza, why she... Of why she started in Palooza and where Nitty Palooza is going to be next year. So, y'all, kick back, relax, and let's get to this special, juicy episode. Guys, so we have a very, very special guest with us today. <laughs> Look at her, Leslie. I'm gonna let her introduce herself, a little bit about herself, and you know who she is and why we're kind of sitting down. Um, and then I'll tell you why we're kind of sitting down together today, guys. <laughs> well, my name is Sue Downey, and I am a nanny, just like probably everyone that's watching. Um, <laughs> and uh, have three kids in the Philadelphia area. And on the side, I do this little thing called Nanny Palooza. And you might have heard of it, but maybe not, uh, which is a conference for nannies. Um, it's typically on the East Coast in the fall. And um, it's a great thing. It's nannies come together and there are workshops on all different kinds of topics from sleep and nutrition and discipline, just anything you might need, as well as professional development things like interviewing and um, negotiating contracts, et cetera. And uh, we also have a little bit of fun while we're at it. Yeah, we definitely do. <laughs> um, so what made you kind of start Nanny Palooza? Were you like, was, were you kind of just something like brought, brought up to you or are you kind of like stick with going to the same conferences or never? Oh, started? yeah. So it, it, Danny Plus is 17 years old. Um, so 17 years ago, um, the landscape was very different. There was a, a INA conference had been around, they've been around for 35 years. Mm -hmm. um, and there had been a few other little things nationally, not, not really any, there was NAN, which was the National Association, but there wasn't a lot. So at that time, a lot of local groups existed and they would do small events, one-offs and things like that here and there where they'd bring in a speaker or whatever. And um, after doing, being a speaker at something like that, I was with my um, sometimes collaborator, Laura Brawley. Mm -hmm. And I was like, why can't we just do this nationally? Like this sort of, INA is a little more formal and it involves agencies and it's just a little bit different thing. And you can like both, you can like one or the other, you could say no to all of it, but the idea was that we could be fun and serious about what we were learning, but really inclusive, really community building right from the start. That was a focus, which we didn't have a national community. I mean, it was before the internet. Well, there was the internet, but there wasn't any social media. People had to mail in checks to us the first year. Like it was, <laughs> it was paper and just, it was just different. And, yeah. there, and there just wasn't a lot of training for nannies either. There were a few nanny schools, but that was a big commitment and thousands of dollars and going to that location and everything. Yeah. Just, it just felt like there was a way that we could come together and share. And the, the other part of it that was sort of fun to me was that um, 
that we all kind of are on the same, like we're all teaching each other and all learning from each other. And so again, that whole idea of being a community, I was like, well, why couldn't we do it? And God bless Laura Brawley, because I was just sort of thinking, and the next thing I know, we have a contract and, uh, you know, a hotel and I'm like, oh, I guess we're doing this. <laughs> but, um, and we had been working together on a national association that has gone under since, but um, so that's where it grew out of. And then once we did it, I was like, oh, this could really work. This could be something. And yeah. so I just kept kept plugging away and doing it every year. And we started the first year we had 75 nannies, at least 12 of them were my friends. Um, <laughs> and then, and then we, grown, uh, yeah. And then it took us, you know, a, a while to grow. Um, but, uh, but now it's, you know, we just finished our last one in Durham where we met for the first time in person. Yeah. And, and that was 200 plus um, attendees and we have vendors now and just lots of sponsors. And um, it's just this, like the whole 360 on it. <laughs> it just, and I think that that's as big as it will ever get. The dream now is to do that, but to do it more than once a year uh-huh. so that I could, because really like 200, you really want to get to know everybody. Yeah. Like, um, there are people that I, that I didn't even get to see this year who yeah. are yeah, like, it was just, so I think that this will be where we sort of sit, but the hope is that there'll be enough interest, enough people that want to come that we could do more than one a year. And then, you know, which is great because then it makes it more affordable. So affordable is a big part of it. Right. So, um, so always, I try to think if I, you know, I am a working nanny mm-hmm. and I know how those dollars, like I know how hard you work for every dollar. Yeah. <laughs> I know exactly what that's like. I'm a full-time nanny with a baby and two older kids and I get it. So, <laughs> so the whole idea is that you could go for less than one week's pay because I figure, you know, you get paid 52 weeks a year. If you spend one week's pay on coming, then that's not, I mean, it's a lot still, but that's basically the best we can do. So, you know, if we do them in more places, then more nannies will get to come because the travel costs add up. So, no, oh, yeah, no, it definitely does. Yeah. But it would yeah. be really cool too. Um, I mean, I just, it was really such this first, like my first conference was like everything and more. Like I was like on adrenaline high the whole weekend. And it's just, it was something that I will never forget. So, and I'm like, like you said, um, at the very end, you're like, it's your first, but it's not your last. And <laughs> well, and it's such, I don't know. I, and you should tell me like, what's like, when you walk in, hopefully what you feel is this sense of community. Again, I keep using that word, but that's really what it is. Right. Um, yeah. It's like, it's a weird, if you can't even really describe it until you're really there. Um, but it's just like an energy in the room that it's like you just feel welcome, supportive. I mean, you can talk to, you can be two people, can be in the middle of a conversation and you could just walk up and jump right in the conversation and no one's looking at you, you know, just it's just so welcoming and it's just the energy is just so high and exciting that you just can't, I, you can't really explain it until you get to really go. And I see why a lot of people really do enjoy coming to Nanny Palooza because it is a lot different than um, the NIA experience. I mean, like you said, that's a little bit more formal. And this one is a lot, I mean, you get to really be yourself. And like you said, you like you were like, you can dress because people are like, what do I wear? Do I wear a suit? dress? You're like, just wear whatever, like be yourself. And I think that's truly like, you really got to see people like true, like, like true right. self. Yeah. And- well, and it's very inclusive atmosphere. And by that, I don't just mean black, white, Hispanic, like all that. That's true. I think right. we've worked really hard and intentionally to make it so that it's that, you mm-hmm. know, but I mean that in the non buzzword too. I mean, inclusive in that we had, um, we had an attendee this year who brought her service animal. We had an attendee who was a little hard of hearing. We had attendees. We always have attendees who are, socially anxious and nervous Mm -hmm. people that come by themselves people that come with big groups people that are joiners people that like go to the stuff and then go to their room Mm -hmm. 
you, you can be any of those things and more and still feel that energy and that welcomeness. Yep. And so I always tell people what you put in is kind of what you get out. And, and so that's great because you can tailor it to your own thing. And we work really hard to make sure that um, wherever you are is where we're going to meet you and support you through the weekend and hopefully beyond. I, I think that's the, the thing, you know, everyone always thanks me, but I really give it back to the community and say, it's not just me. I mean, I work really hard on the nuts and bolts of it, but, um, <laughs> but, but that's just signing, you know, a contract and, and, and like that anybody can learn to do that. But the community building really is not just me. It's just, it's everyone. It's, everyone intentionally saying, you know, we're, we all understand what our life is like, and we welcome everybody into this space that does this work and, and, you know, being helpful and reaching out and also acknowledging some people may need a little space. And um, so, yeah, I could, I could talk about it all day. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's your pa- I love it. No, I love you. Like, I just love it. You can totally tell it's your passion. And you, you did, you're doing your thing with me and Kalusa. It's really, I just, this weekend was such a, like a last weekend was such an amazing weekend for me. So, um, so thank you. And thank you for even coming to sit on our channel and talk about Nanny Kalusa and why you started it. It's really, truly an honor for me, oh, <laughs> especially for you. the first ones and, um, and just making our connection is really nice. It meant a lot for me. Um, but I know we have a really big announcement at the end. And so every year, so we go, she goes to a new location every year, right? And we, if you're at the Nanny Palooza, you actually heard where it's going to be. But there, you still have a whole world to go. We still have a whole community. Yeah, to- that was only, that was only 200 people. So right? well, I'm have- so <laughs> I'm so happy to be on the nanny news to share it. It's breaking yeah. news. I want that sound. Do 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 do. You guys are all too young, probably to know. But <laughs> uh, I, I, the breaking news sound, like oh, the um, that little uh, news sound, like Shh, right. breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> Thing across the yeah, bottom. I'm going to tag you in and everything. So watch. I, I will definitely, you have all my ideas in my head right now. Coming there. I'm super excited. I'm so excited to be on the news. Okay. So breaking news, um, 2023, Manny Cluza is going to be at the Hilton Washington Dulles airport location. So this is super exciting for me. First of all, it's kind of a jump up. So Nanny Palooza being affordable, we usually stay at like the double tree, which is, you know, like one step down as far mm-hmm. as your amenities and the, and the quality. And now we're going to be at a Hilton location, which is nice. It is a huge hotel. It has two separate conference facilities. We're in the smaller one and there's a, a much bigger one, but they're separated. So we'll still have that feeling of being all together in this, in this space. Um, We will have a vendor hall again this year. We will have lots of space and um, even more space for workshops, which people love and hate because I offer up several workshops at a time so that you can pick what makes sense to you. But then every year everyone's like, wait, but then I missed ones and I need, (laughs) you need to not do that. So sorry. I'm just going to give you more and you're just going to have to like make friends and get the notes. Um, the room rate at the Hilton is only $109 a night plus taxes. Oh. And, um, so that's going to be very affordable. We'll have some doubles and some Kings again. And, um, I'm actually working right now to get a few extra because of the demand from last year. We, we sold 226% of what I thought we were going to do. So, <laughs> so you sold out. Like, I didn't even know we sold out. Like, oh, oh yeah. We sold out. I was like, wait, what? Like, no, we basically filled that hotel. I think there were maybe a handful of rooms of people that for were. For the pilots. For the yeah. pilots that typically exactly. have to stay there. <laughs> so, right. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but the Hilton, there's a lot more rooms. Um, so that's good. Um I'm going to tell you now that we will do the same basic um, times as this year, which is I'll start programming on Friday around 12 or 1230. 
and you can jump in on that if you want, but if you're working, that's okay. The bulk of the workshops, most of the meat of the bone is um, Saturday and half day Sunday. So basically if you want the whole thing, if you schedule yourself to arrive before noon on Friday, you'll be able to, to leave at um, 12, 1230 on Sunday. And because it's an airport location, there is a free shuttle. So that'll make it easy for you to fly in and out if you're flying in and out of Dulles. Mm -hmm. But the exciting news about Washington, D.C. Um, is that there are a couple of other airports you can fly into Reagan or, um, mm -hmm. or BWI. Um, the Amtrak comes into BWI and then you can take a local train. There's lots of ways to get there. So um, and yeah, I'm excited to be. We haven't been back in Washington, D.C. since 2004, I think, was the last time we were there. So yeah. okay. it's a great it's a great place to find speakers. There's all these great, um, you know, resources in the D.C. area and governmental agencies. So we'll have to see if we can get some of them. It's going to be a good one. Ooh, yeah, I'm, excited. I'm excited. I'm uh, excited. So registration won't start until probably May. Um, if you, the Facebook is my best social media. I know that a lot of people don't use it anymore, but even if it's just for me, maybe you might want to check it out, but also I'm working on being better at it, Instagram. And, um, you can always find information on my website at nannypalooza.com. And I also have an email list and I do always send out an email, um, before registration starts so that, you know. So you can go to the website and click join the email list. And um, yeah, I advise you to go do that if you <laughs> are very interested in going because the second the tickets go on sale, guys, you're oh, yeah. definitely going to want to get them. <laughs> you know, I want to know the, uh, the dates are October 6th to the 8th. The October so it's, it's, it's almost it's identical for this almost weekend. Almost identical, yeah. <laughs> that first weekend in October. This it's a good October. sweet spot right yeah. after the back to school stuff dies down but far enough away from Halloween. So. Holidays, yep, yeah. it's enough time for holidays. So yeah, no, like I said, guys, please go get your, go to the um, website and put yourself on the email list because it's going to go quick. And in Washington, D.C., <laughs> it's going to go quick. I'm putting myself on the email list. <laughs> get on, because I'm not missing another word. And I'm going to bring my media couch with Nanny Preneur magazine with us <laughs> again. Um, but um, so I just... That's kind of what I wanted to do. I just wanted to get you to announce, um, you know, I'm on the channel. I feel really, really honored that you even wanted to do this for me, like, and Kimberly D. And any, just, any it, time. It's a lot for me, um, really do. And I thank you for doing Nanny Palooza. Thank you for being you, because like I said, it's not my, it's my first, but it definitely was not my last one I will be attending. So it was- Thank you. Yeah, wonderful. So thanks for coming on Nanny News. Thanks. This isn't our last time we get to be have you on here. You'll have to have me back when I book the speakers and we can break that news. That would oh, be exciting. We'll see. I love it. Too. <laughs> Let me know. We definitely have more breaking news, guys. Coming <laughs> too. Thanks, so, Ashley. No problem. No problem. Y'all, how amazing was that, you guys? I told you that episode was juicy and I told you that interview was juicy. I mean, if you're sitting down with me, you know it's going to be juicy. Well, you guys, aren't you excited? We are going to Washington, D.C. Ooh, I wish I could sing, baby, because if I was, I would belt it out. But we are going to Washington, D.C. next year, you guys. And if, like she said in the interview, if you are really wanting to join next year because you've kind of been having a fear of missing out, and trust me, I understand because I've been there for the past five years. And I told myself this year I was not missing another Nanny Palooza. And I didn't. And next year, I'm not missing another one. And I hope that you don't miss another one. You're hearing it now. A year from to a year from now, you guys, this same weekend, October 6th through the 8th of 2023 in Washington, D.C. is where Nanny Palooza will be. Now, I will tell you guys, it um, was an average for a three for the conference that included your food and all the conference fees to get into all the cl classes that have was $300 plus the hotel, which she's saying the hotel is going to be around $109 a night. And this last ho that hotel we stayed in was about $99 a night. 
So you want to save around up to around seven hundred to eight hundred to a thousand dollars. Like she said, one week's worth of pay usually um, is what you want to save. So um, you got a year to do it. And if you've been wanting to do this, I promise you guys, it is worth every single dime. I've had the best time of my life this last week, this last weekend, and I know that next year is about to be even more dope. Because we're going to Washington, D.C. Like, you all know there's so many talk, like, speakers that are going to be there. Like, Lord Jesus. It's about to be epic. So, if you are interested, head over to nannypalooza.com and join the wait list for the, 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 the announcement list, the notification list, so you know when um, the tickets will be on sale. She's saying that the tickets will be on sale around the same time like they were this year, which was around May, and they sold out by the end of June. So when you see them come out, you're gonna wanna jump on, even if that's just maybe booking your hotel room and then hopefully maybe swinging it with the, the, the tickets here eventually. But if you can just purchase it all, it'd be greatly be the best ideal. Now you can reserve your hotel room without paying for the hotel room. Like I reserved my hotel room almost two or three months when the second she put those room, those rates out and I didn't get charged for the room until, and I actually ended up having to cancel my room like three days before because I, we did some different sleeping arrangements and it ended up working out perfectly fine. And I was able to gift my room to another nanny and she got the same rate. But all I'm saying is that you want to jump on this as soon as you can. So keep your notifications up and I hope to see all of you guys there for next year's Nanny Palooza. Me and me and Sue are going to be teaming up, and I'm you might be seeing me on the Nanny Palooza page here soon by doing some reels for them. You see me winking? <laughs> no, I'm for real. We, me and team, uh, me and Sue are going to be teaming up next year to do some promotions and um, so forth and so on. But Sue, thank you from the bottom of my heart for coming on to my channel and honestly even thinking of me to be your person to announce this, to get this out to the industry. You have no idea how much it means to me. And I just thank you for just being you and honestly working with me for my first Panani Palooza and just creating Nanny Palooza. It's just something that our industry is truly, truly blessed to have. And we're blessed to have you in our industry. So guys, this is the special announcement. We're going to Washington, D.C. next year for Nanny Palooza. I thought I told you I just couldn't wait. So I had to share it now. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this episode. We will be back for Friday, this Friday for another episode. So get ready for it. Um, it's going to be part two of the history behind being a nanny. So in the meantime, enjoy this. In the meantime, enjoy the last two weeks, two days until we see each other again on Friday. Thanks again, Sue, and I hope to see everybody next year in Nanny Palooza. Bye, guys.